So today we're going to talk about this little device, a USB safety tester. Yes, it's all about safety so that you can measure things like voltages and amp, uh, current draw, that kind of thing. Um, but moreover, I use it just as an actual fault finder, fault tester. So for example, if you've got a socket, a USB socket and one that says um, output is one amp and output is two amps, um, obviously you'll need to make sure what sort of phones or devices you can plug into each. So one you can plug in a phone, the other one maybe you cannot plug in an iPad or something like that one. So what you would do then is uh, plug in your little tester, it would beep, it says welcome and it shows you then the current draw as you plug in something to charge, it shows you the current draw on the front of it. So on the one amp side, it obviously it's never going to go over one amp. And on the two amp side though, however, you should then be able to see that it actually draws more of a current in there. So effectively it's charging the device faster um, through that way and you can see in the readout. Now I recently had a problem with my um, Apple Watch charge cable. Uh, it just stopped charging for some reason or it's charge and then stop, charge, stop. Um, but the back of the watch got absolutely baking hot. So with the help of this little device, I was able to plug in and then find out why it kept dropping. The voltage was showing the right voltage, um, but the actual current was showing a really low current. So it wasn't enough to charge it. However, the fact that it was trying to give it a tiny current on the back was causing it just to kind of heat up because it wasn't charging. So um, yeah, really interesting little device. Like I say, you can use it in your car, or if you've got sort of um, you know battery banks, you can plug it in just to check what the voltage is. So it'll come up and it'll say at the moment, yeah, the voltage 5.01 volts. So you know then that that's got plenty of power in it and it's giving out the right power. USB should always work around about five volts. It should never be too much higher than five volts or too much lower. Um, so, you know, you can charge things like cameras, you can charge phones, um, like I say, little GoPros and stuff like that. Uh, and they're all kind of five volt charge. You can, you know, charge your iPad and stuff like that. So you need to make sure with this that uh, the voltage is right from the device that you're using to charge. And obviously then that you can use the right socket and that it's charging it at the correct ampage or the correct rating as well. So lovely little device, like I say, it helped me diagnose that this cable was actually faulty um, and you can use it for obviously those types of diagnostics as well as just safety checks, um, but they're really cheap. And I think everybody that's got USB, and we all do these days, we all charge things with USB and we all now and again run into the problems of, has something got the right output? Why is it getting so hot? Why doesn't this cable work? Uh, why hasn't this fully charged? All those types of things uh, can all be answered when you plug this in because um, it'll actually tell you either way uh, what's going on, you know, the voltages as it's being the right current is being drawn um, and you can even reset so you can actually collect some data on there. So for example, over a certain period, how many amps were drawn, how many voltage um, drops or spikes were monitored, things like that. And one of the cool little features of it is that no matter which way your USB is orientated, this will plug in. So unlike normal USB sockets, um, this you can plug in both ways um, and it works really well. So yeah, it's my little uh, gadget of the week is uh, the USB safety tester. Like I say, links down below in the video description uh, to where you can go buy one and they're really cheap as well. And I think everyone uh, should really get one just so that you can uh, make sure that whatever you charging is safe to charge um, and if you've got power banks and things make sure they're actually working properly so thanks very much for watching the video take care and i'll catch you on the next video thanks bye